Uh, welcome back to part two. Right. So in this video, we are only going to revise what I already told you in the first part. Right. So if you haven't already, please click the link on the top right corner and watch the part one first. Because in that video, I explained everything in great detail. All the questions which you are going to see here. There is 99.65% chance that we covered that question in the previous video, right? So please watch that video first before watching this video. Because in this video, I'll just I will be refreshing your memory, right? Okay, so let's go. Malaria is treated with structural analogues of vitamin B2, riboflavin. These drugs disrupt the synthesis of the following enzyme in plasmodium, right? So if even if you don't know the rest of this enzyme, right, you are being told that uh, it's riboflavin, right? You, if you know like uh, your core enzymes, which core enzyme come from uh, riboflavin? It's FAD, right? So the answer is FAD dependent dehydrogenase. That's it. Disruption of nerve fiber myelinogenase and thus myelin, myelination formation of myelin causes neurological disorders and mental retardation. These symptoms are typical for hereditary and acquired alteration of uh, the metab metabolism of what? Right. So for myelination, the sphingolip uh, sphingolipids are responsible, right? Uh, so if there is a disorder in uh, sphingolipids, uh, those are actually called like uh, lysosomal storage diseases. I will show you, uh, I think, later in this video, right? But for now, just know myelinogenesis. For myelination, there is uh, lipids for sphingolipids in full. A 36-year-old female patient has a history of vitamin uh, B2 hypovitaminosis. Uh, the most likely cause of specific symptoms like epithelial mucosal or cutaneous lesions or, or also corneal lesions is the deficiency of what? Vitamin B2 is riboflavin, so flavin core enzymes. A patient complains of photoreception disorder and frequent viral diseases. He has been prescribed a vitamin that affects photoreception processes uh, by producing rhodopsin. The photosensitivity pig, okay, and also is part of photosensitivity, uh, photosensitivity pigment. What vitamin is it? Okay, this is vitamin A, right? So uh, for vision, it's, it's actually retinal, the active form. It's actually 11 cis retinal. And also this part which talk about acute viral diseases. For example, in measles, if you give a vitamin A to someone with measles or someone at risk of uh, getting measles, it will be reducing like severity and also reducing mortality. Right, so here the answer is a retinal acetate. Retinal acetate is uh, just a form of vitamin A. A 53 year old male, male patient is diagnosed with Paget's disease. The concentration of oxyplor, oxyproline, right, oxyproline is. Or definitely collagen okay is sharply increased which primarily primarily means intensification or intensified disintegration of what okay so it's collagen so if you still remember um there is what synthesis of the like uh primary pro collagen and then there will be hydroxylation like adding of oh groups on the uh uh, proline residues right and then from there then after release there will be lethal oxidase for cross-linking right please make sure you watch this video i think it's it's very helping cyanide poison cyanide is a poison that causes instant death of organisms 
What enzyme found in the mitochondria are affected by cyanide is cytochrome oxidase. Cytochrome oxidase is, po is affected by cyanide poison. And also the other compound which affect this enzyme is actually carbon monoxide, right? Carbon monoxide and cyanide affects the cytochrome oxidase. Increased HDL, that's high-density lipoproteins uh, levels, decreases the risk of atherosclerosis. What is the mechanism of HDL and atherogenic action? Right. Just to know at least two lipoproteins, right? HDL and LDL. Right. LDL is low-density lipoprotein. It's actually bad cholesterol. Right, HDL is a good cholesterol, it's healthy. It takes lipids from the periphery to the liver. And LDL, it takes uh, like the chol cholesterol to the peripheral, uh, to, to the periphery. Okay, that's it. So, which one is healthy? HDL, right? It, uh, they remove cholesterol from tissues. That's the answer. It has been found out that one of the pesticide components is sodium arsenate uh, that blocks lipoic acid, right? Which enzyme activity is impaired by this pesticide, right? Uh, okay, let me just give you a hint. Uh, in, that, uh, in that enzyme, it contains three components, right? lipoic acid and two other enzymes one is uh pyruvate dehydrogenase not complex some people will call it pyruvate decarboxylase but it's not correct the correct is pyruvate dehydrogenase and uh that one which contains lipoic acid right and the third enzyme tell me in the comment section i want you to uh, tell me the three components of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and again, that's, that was the question here. Uh, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, that's the answer, right? So uh, just to, to refresh your memory, this pyruvate dehydrogenase complex actually is a uh, five core enzymes, right? There is a simple mnemonic which says the lovely core enzymes for NEDS, right? They are five. Thiamine pyrophosphate. That's vitamin B1, lipoic acid, vitamin, uh, okay, lipoic acid is just lipoic acid. And then uh, coenzyme A, that's vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid, uh, FAD or vitamin B2, that's riboflavin, NAD or vitamin B3, that's nicotine or niacin, right? Uh, if you check on this channel, you will see, co uh, I mean, biochemistry playlist i'm covering the vitamins there right so you can watch all those vitamins one by one right but this is just uh for you to remember the core enzymes for pyruvate dehydrogenase complex because there is another enzyme again which is similar to pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is actually called alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase they can ask you uh, about that as well A biochemical urine analysis, analysis has been performed for a patient with progressive muscular dystrophy. In, in the given case, muscle disease okay. In the given case, muscle disease can be confirmed by high content of which of the following uh, substances in urine, right? So I told you it's creating kinase or creating phosphokinase, right? So here the answer is creating. Don't confuse with creating nine. No, it's creating. A 46-year-old female patient consulted a doctor about pain in the small joints of the upper and lower limbs, right? So these are the sim uh, symptoms of gout. The joints are enlarged and shaped like thickened nodes. Serum tests revealed an increased 
uh, in urate concentration. This might be caused by disorder of metabolism of what, right? So gout is caused by what? Increased uh, concentration of um, uric acid in blood, right? Uric acid. And uric acid come from degradation of purines, right? So that's your answer. Human red blood cells do not contain mitochondria. What is the pathway for ATP production in these cells, right? So actually it's uh, a glycolysis, particularly anaerobic glycolysis, which takes place in the cytosol, right? That's the answer. Aerobic, aerobic glycolysis, uh, it needs the mitochondria, right? It needs oxygen. So the red blood cells they do not have mitochondria so there is no aerobic glycolysis those organisms which in the process of evolution failed to develop uh, protection from hydrogen peroxide can exist only in anaerobic conditions which of the following enzymes can break down hydrogen peroxide Right, so by just checking the answers, peroxide is broken down by S, peroxidase, right? That's the first one. The other one is catalase, right? So in simple experiment, if you take your hydrogen peroxide and if you add few drops of a catalase, you actually see the, uh, the bubbles, right? So catalase and peroxidase is your answer. Prolonged fasting causes hypoglycemia, thus decreased amount of a glycogen, which is amplified by alcohol consumption, right? As the following process will be inhibited, right? So because of this alcohol consumption, the patient cannot uh, synthesize glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, right? So that process of synthesizing glucose from non-carbohydrate sources is called gluconeogenesis neo from new right so it's gluconeogenesis a 39 year old female patient with a history of diabetes was hospitalized in a pre-comatose state for diabetic ketoacidosis this condition has been caused by an increase in the following metabolite level right so this question wants you to remember your Ketone bodies, right? So you just need to find ketone bodies among your answers, right? Just to jog your memory, there is a, a molecule, okay? There is something called HMG-CoA, right? HMG-CoA is acted upon by uh, HMG-CoA layers, right? To form acetoacetate, right? Then this acetoacetate will be acted upon by beta hydroxybutyrate dehydrogenase to form beta hydroxybutyrate right so beta hydroxybutyrate is now the second uh the second ketone board acetoacetate is the first this one is the second and then the third one this acetoacetate can undergo spontaneous decarboxylation right it's actually acetoacetate decarboxylase to form acetone right acetone is a specific smell it's called acet acetone breath right okay so here uh like among these three on, on your list you only have one acetoacetate that's the answer here a patient with hemogenic dysuria has signs of arthritis ochronosis in this case, the pain in the joint is associated with deposition of what, right? You, are, you have the answer in the question. Hemogenesis urea, it means hemogenesis. That's the answer. Don't think too much. In case of alcaptoyuria, homogentesic acid is excreted in urine uh, in large amounts. The development of this disease is associated with a disorder of metabolism of the following amino acid 
right okay let me jog your memory again uh this image is from um from the previous video right i, I got it from first aid by the way right so from phenylalanine to tyrosine this process is mediated by phenylalanine hydroxylase right if there is a uh, a deficient or disorder in phenylalanine hydroxylase, the patient will develop PKU. Right? This tyrosine can also be converted to DOPA and that pathway going to um, uh, catecholamines. Right? But I'm interested in this pathway, thus conversion of tyrosine to hemogentesic acid. Right? Then this hemogentesic acid is converted to what? maleoacetoacetic acid and then fumarate and then tricarboxylic acid right so this process the conversion of homogenesic acid um to maleo it's called what maleo maleoacetic acid right so this process is mediated by homogenesic oxidase right so if there is a disorder in this enzyme the patient will develop or cup to urea but this question was simple it was only asking you about the source of homogenesic acid is tyrosine symptoms of pellagra that's vitamin pp is particularly pronounced in patients with a low protein diet because nicotinamide uh, precursor in human is one of the essential amino acids right if you still remember again i gave you a list of amino acids and um like what they give right so nicot nicotinamide is actually come from uh tryptophan tryptophan exactly and then there is another another neurotransmitter which comes from a uh, tryptophan is actually serotonin okay so here the answer is tryptophan okay tryptophan it gives nicotinamide and also it gives serotonin a newborn as a numerous hemorrhages blood coagulation tests reveal increased prothrombin time the child is most likely to have disorder of the following biochemical process right if you still remember we, we talked about vitamin k dependent clotting factors right for what for gamma carboxylation of a glutamic acid right so this question is uh, on this question the answer is production of gamma carboxyglutamate that's the answer decarboxylation of glutamate induces production of uh gamma amino butyric acid or GABA this one is actually a an inhibitory neurotransmitter and on its disintegration it produces a, a uh, we can say it's a what um an intermediate from Krebs cycle okay uh after breakdown the GABA is converted into metabolite oh okay that's the question again so I said it's succinate right succinate is um a result of uh disintegration of GABA a child has a history of hepatomegaly hypoglycemia seizures especially on empty stomach and in stressful situation this child is diagnosed with von gk right uh, this disease is caused by a uh, genetic defect of the following enzyme right okay uh, here it's von gk is actually a glycogen storage uh, disease right so firstly you just need to remember from 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 the previous video there is um glycogen phosphorylase Glyco glycogen phosphorylase was throwing what the phosphates on the 1,4 glycosidic bonds and then it was releasing uh glucose one phosphate and then glucose one phosphate was being converted to glucose six phosphate and then glucose six phosphate uh or cannot cannot be converted to glucose in muscles but it cannot only be converted to glucose um in the liver proximal convoluted tube of the kidney and duodenum these 
these organs actually have um, a special enzymes in their smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The enzyme is called glucose 6-phosphatase, right? So it's in the liver mainly. So this patient is hepatomegaly, right? Enlargement of this liver uh, can also be uh, a hint. But von Gieke, I think, von Gieke is simple. You will remember von Gieke for glucose 6-phosphatase. Okay, next question. In cancer patients, we have been continuously receiving methotrexate, uh, the target cells of tumor with time becomes insensitive to this drug. This, in this case, the gene amplification of the following enzyme is observed, right? So remember, this one is from the previous video again. There is deoxyUMP converted to deoxTMP, right? And the process is mediated by thiamidylate synthase. Right, thiamidylate synthase, it needs a core enzyme known as tetrahydrofolate, this one. Tetrahydrofolate is, oh, after this reaction, is converted into uh, dihyd uh, dihydrofolate, right? And we, but we need it again, right? So to be converted back to tetrahydrofolate, it's re it will be reduced by dihydrofolate reductase, this enzyme, right? So this enzyme is being targeted by methotrexate, right? Methotrexate, that's MTX here, right? So your question, uh, the question is asking about this enzyme, right? Dihydrofolate reductase, that's the target for methotrexate. Pancreas is known as a mixed gland. Endocrine functions include production of insulin by beta cells this hormone affects the metabolism of carbohydrates what is the what is its effect on activity of gly, on gly, of glycogen phosphorylase and glycogen synthase right so remember insulin is only being produced if the amount of glucose in the blood is very high right so if it is high we don't need to break our glycogen to 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 increase the amount of uh, of glucose in blood we need to build more what we need to build more glycogen to reduce the amount of what glucose right so that's the basis so what will happen like on this enzyme glycogen phosphorylase is for destroying or, or breaking down uh glycogen right if it break down glycogen it will increase the amount of glucose right so this enzyme glycogen phosphorylase should be inhibited and we want to synthesize more glycogen so the glycogen synthase will need to be activated that's why the answer is a a 46 year old patient has continuous history of progressive muscular uh descent dystrophy right this uh, which blood enzyme changes will be of diagnostic value in this case okay again i said it's creating phosphokinase creating phosphokinase untrained people often have muscle pain after uh, sprains as a result of accumulation of lactic acid or lactate accumulation okay this can be caused by intensification of the following biochemical process right so this process is actually anaerobic glycolysis, glycolysis, which increases the amount of lactic acid, right? Because I said like in the path of glycolysis, if there is oxygen, then it will, uh, the pyruvate will enter into the mitochondria. And then, so in the intermediate process, it will be uh, converted into what? Uh, acetyl CoA and then the into the Krebs cycle right but if oxygen is not available it will be converted into what lactic acid right so in this untrained people there will be accumulation of lactic acid but the question was simple it was the answer is glycolysis increased hdl reveals uh i'm sorry increased hdl levels 
decrease the risk of atherosclerosis. What is the mechanism of HDL? Okay, we saw this question before. I said H for health, right? So HDL is health. So it removes cholesterol from the peripheral tissues. A dry cleaner's worker has been found uh, to have hepatic steatosis, that's fatal liver. This pathology can be caused by disruption of the synthesis of the following, right? So to reduce the what the amount of fats in the liver, the liver can actually synthesize phosphatidylcholine. Phosphatidylcholine, that's the answer here. A 16-year-old adolescent is diagnosed with hereditary UDP, that's uridine diphosphate glucuronyl transferase, right? So this enzyme is actually for conjugation of bilirubin. Right? That's the first thing you need to know, right? Laboratory test revealed hyperbilirubinemia caused by caused mostly by increased blood content of the following substance, right? We're saying there is no conjugation because there is a hereditary defect in UDP glucuronyl transferase, right? So the kind of uh, bilirubin which will be found there is actually unconjugated bilirubin, right? Unconjugated bilirubin. To an emergence ward, a seven-year-old child was delivered in the condition of allergic shock caused by bee sting. Uh, high concentration of histamine is observed in blood. Production of this amine is the result of the following reaction. Right, so if you still remember in the previous video, I gave you a list of amino acids uh, and there is also like if they are decarboxylated, Right, so I said histidine will be decarboxylated to form histamine, right? That's why you have, uh, oh, okay, I didn't check the, an the, the answers, I mean, I was hoping like I, I will be answering something more difficult, right? So the process is decarboxylation. Decarboxylation of histidine will form histamine, a neurotransmitter, a vasodilator, right, okay? decarboxylation a 65 year old man suffering from gout complains of pain in his kidneys ultrasonic examination reveals kidney stones a certain substance uh, in increased concentration can cause kidney stone formation name the substance right this patient has gout so i say the patient who has gout has increased amount of uric acid right from degradation of purines right so the answer is just simple here it's uric acid emotional stress causes activation of hormone sensitive triglyceride lipase in adipose what secondary mediator takes part uh, in this process right so just to remember your stress hormones like epinephrine for example Epinephrine will attach to the 7 pass receptor, right? Uh, it's called a, what, a G protein coupled receptor, right? <coughs> so, specifically on this case, uh, there will be what GS, that's G stimulator, right? So, like on, uh, on the attachment of hormone to that receptor, there will be activation of adenylate cyclase. Adenylate, adenylate cyclase is an enzyme which converts ATP to cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP means, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. <clears throat> okay, so cyclic AMP is cyclic adenosine monophosphate. It's the second messenger in question here. So the answer is A, cyclic adenosine monophosphate. A patient has been diagnosed with alcaptoyuria. Choose the enzyme uh, that can cause this pathology, right? So, in the previous, I, 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 I told you about this enzyme, homogentistic oxidase, right? Homogentistic, or the, they can say 
homogentisate oxidase or homogentisic acid um, homogentisic acid oxidase okay you can just change the names like that sorry about my pronunciation on this one right during regular checkup a child is detected with interrupted mineralization of bones what vitamin deficient can be can be the cause right so uh, on bone mineralization this question is talking about vitamin d you need to know another name for vitamin d it's calciferol and an, an unconscious sorry something is happening An unconscious patient was delivered by an ambulance to the hospital. On objective examination, the patient was found to be to, to present no reflexes, periodical convulsions, and irregular breathing. These are the symptoms of ammonia poisoning, right? After laboratory examination, the patient was diagnosed with hepatic coma, right? Remember, in the liver, that's where anything cycle takes place that's where ammonia will be detoxified disorder of the central nervous system developed due to accumulation of the following metabolite i told you already is ammonia when blood circulation when blood circulation in the damaged tissues is restored lactate accumulation stops and glucose consumption decelerate. These metabolic changes are caused by activation of the following process. Right. Okay. It's simple as this one. We are saying blood. Blood carries oxygen. Right. So without oxygen, there will be what? Anaerobic glycolysis, which will result in accumulation of what? Of lactic acid. But if you restore blood circulation, it means oxygen will be available. That's why the, the process will change from, aerob from anaerobic to aerobic, right? So the answer is aerobic glycolysis. Aerobic glycolysis. A four-year-old child with hereditary renal lesion has signs of rickets. Vitamin D concentration is normal in this case. What is the most probable cause of a rickets development? Right. So if the amount of vitamin D is normal uh, in, in the blood, what you need to think of is uh, because you are being told that the patient has hereditary uh, renal lesion. What happens in the kidney? In the kidney, that's where the synthesis of, of calcitriol takes place, right? Because like the final step is actually mediated by the enzyme called 1-alpha hydroxylase in the kidney, right? Mm -hmm. It will make what the active form of vitamin D, the active form, that's calcitriol, right? So this patient has impaired the synthesis of calcitriol. That's the answer. Disease of respiratory system and circulatory disorder impair the transport of oxygen, thus causing hypoxia. Under this condition, the energy metabolism is carried out by anaerobic glycolysis. As a result, the following substance is generated and accumulated in blood. It's lactic acid. During cell division, DNA replication occurs uh, after a signal is received from cytoplasm. Then a certain portion of DNA helix unwinds, right? And splits into two individual strains. What enzyme facilitate this process, right? So the unwinding or opening of uh, like the two chains of DNA breaking the what the hydrogen bonds in the center that process is done by the enzyme called dna helicase dna helicase right which enzyme 
can confuse he, you here, right? RNA polymerases for transcription and uh, DNA ligers. This one is for joining the Okazaki fragments, etc. All right, okay, let's not talk about that. This process, un unwinding of the chains, is done by helicase. A therapeutist, okay, a therapeutist has an appointment with a 40-year-old patient complaining of a recurring pain attacks in the hallux joint, right? That's the joint of the big toe, and they are swelling. Urine analysis reviews revealed it's marked acidic and pink color. What substance can cause such changes? This patient is gout, so it's uric acid. A 43-year-old patient suffers from acute pancreatitis with, disrupt, with disrupted uh, common bile duct patterns that's opening. It's distracted, right? So it's actually a mechanical problem. Okay. What condition can develop in this case is mechanical jaundice. It's not hemolytic because hemolytic actually happens. For example, if they, for example, if you, uh, those kinds of uh, incompatibility, if you transfuse blood, reaction can uh, lead to what? To, to hemolysis and then the bilirubin will increase, right? Hepatocellular, this will be like the actual liver problems like cirrhosis. All right. So in this case, you just know if there is a like, uh, like disrupted patterns of the biliary tract or biliary tree, then it's mechanic, right? And it, they are usually blocked by um, stones, right? Stones from cholesterol or even bile, right? So it's mechanical jaundice or mechanic jaundice. All right, a six-year-old child suffers from delayed growth, disrupted ossification process, decalcification of the teeth. What can be the cause, right? I told you it's vitamin D deficiency. Cholesterol content uh, in blood serum of a 12-year-old boy is 25 millimoles per liter anamnesis state hereditary familial hypercholesterolemia right hypercholesterolemia right so i need you to remember this thing just to remember if they mention like especially in croak if they mention hypercholesterolemia is associated with bad cholesterol that's low density lipoprotein right okay obesity is a common disease the aim of treatment is to lower the content of neutral fats neutral fats the triglycerides right uh, the hormone sensitive enzyme is actually hormone sensitive lipase is the most important for intracellular lipolysis all right, the ends. Oh, okay, okay. I read the question the wrong way, but I gave you the answer. How smart! What hormone sensitive enzyme is the most important? Is is the most important for intracellular lipolysis? Right, neutral fats are triglycerides. Right, so the lipase, triglycerolipase, is the enzyme for intracellular lipolysis. A patient is diagnosed with chronic atrophic gastritis att uh, attended by deficiency of castles intrinsic factor, right? Intrinsic factor is actually for absorption of vitamin B12, right? And patients with diphylobotriasis have uh, the disorder because the parasite actually, it, this, it destroys this factor. So you see them with megaloblastic anemia. Okay, what's the question? What type of anemia does the patient have? It's vitamin, vitamin 12, vitamin B12 deficient anemia.
vitamin B12 deficiency anemia. That's the answer. A 49-year-old man complains of pain in the metatarsophalangeal joint and joint deformation. The blood hyperuricemia, right, uh, can be observed. X-ray has revealed metatarsophalangeal joint space narrowing, erosion, and periarticular calcifications of both joints and also osteoporosis. Microscopy has revealed inflammatory granulomatosis reactions surrounding the necrotizing masses in the area of the me first metatarsophalangeal joint. Choose the most likely diagnosis. Okay, this is gout, definitely, because we, uh, they told you about hyperuricemia, and you can see narrowing and erosion, uh, right, in the what in th these articulations mentioned there. Right, so is podagra or gout same thing. So to remember this, just you know, hyperuricemia, gout, increased amount of uh what of uric acids. It means how do you treat this? Allopurinol. What is it? Its mechanism, competitive inhibition of xanthine oxidase. Okay. Characteristic sign of glycogenosis. Glycogenosis is in what? Glycogen storage disease, right? Is muscle pain during physical work. Blood examination usually reveals hypoglycemia, right? Glycogen is there, but it's not being broken down. Okay. This pathology is caused by congenital deficiency of which of the following enzyme? Right. So... What breaks down uh, glycogen in the first place is glycogen phosphorylase. That's your answer. The process of metabolism in human body uh, produces the active forms of oxygen, including the super oxygen, super, it's called superoxide anion or superoxide radical, right? Um, okay, what's the its formula? Okay, its formula, I wrote it like this. O2 negative. This anion is inactivated by what? So from the answer, superoxide dismutase is, is, is the one which uh, inactivate the this kind of radical, right? Superoxide dismutase. So the answer is in the question. A 53-year-old man is diagnosed with Paget's disease, right? You already know this. Concentration of oxyproline. 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 Okay. All right. So it's about collagen, right? So which, pri which primarily means intensified disintegration of collagen. An infant born prematurely two days ago presents with yellow coloring of skin and mucosa, right? So it's, it's jaundice. Such a condition in infant is caused by temporary deficiency of what? So neonatal jaundice, that's the case here. And you at, at this stage, there is no what? Uh, an enzyme responsible for conjugation of bilirubin is called UDP glucuronyl transferase, right? I told you about it in the previous question. So it's your answer, right? It's not active yet. A seven-year-old child in the state of allergic shock caused by bee sting has been delivered into an emergency ward. High concentration of histamine was observed in blood. Production of this amine was a result of the following. I told you about this one. I said this decarboxylation of histidine which gives histamine. A patient with insulin depending diabetes mellitus uh, has been administered uh, has been administered insulin after a certain period of time. The patient developed fatigue 
irritability, excessive sweating. What is the main mechanism for such presentation? All right. So this, this patient has been given insulin. What's the function of insulin? It's for taking glucose from the blood into what? into the cells right so if the if there is low glucose right here they just say referred to it is in general as a carbohydrate right so if it is low just need to know the the primary source of energy for the brain is glucose that's your carbohydrate right and then from there the brain later on can if the if it is stranded it can use ketone bodies but the first one is uh glucose right so the mechanism for this kind of presentation like uh this fatigue and excessive sweetness and what right uh, the mechanism is carbohydrate starvation of the brain the key reaction of fat acid synthesis is production of malonoic a malonoic a what um what metabolite is the source of malonoid CoA synthesis, right? So you need to review your what, your fatty acid synthesis. Okay, so it goes this way, right? You know the the fats will be synthesized if there is a uh, like high production of cycle, particularly like for example in the Krebs cycle, right? If the ATP production is now high, there is a uh, 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 an intermediate called citrate right so citrate will will be destroyed it will be cleaved by a certain enzyme called citrate li liars right into two components oxaloacetate and what okay let me let me show you let me show you i think i have everything okay i said citrate will be cleaved into what oxaloacetate by citrate yalas uh forming what okay I, okay this one is your oxaloacetate and acetyl coa right so this acetyl coa um okay uh this citrate yalas it also adds a uh, what a coenzyme a that's the that's here your coa right all right, so this is the this is what happens. This acetyl CoA will be converted into what malonoid CoA by another enzyme. This enzyme is called acetyl CoA carboxylase. All right, what's special about this enzyme? It needs um, vitamin B seven or biotin, right? Acetyl CoA carboxylase. Right, and then we have what your malonoid CoA. Malonoid CoA is very important, like it's actually the basis for synthesis of what fatty acids. I will talk about it later in carbohydrate metabolism. A patient who has been sub. <laughs> okay. A patient who has been subsisting exclusively on polished rice has developed polyneuritis due to thiamine deficiency, that's vitamin B1, right? Uh, what substance in the, uh, is an indicator of such avitaminosis when it is excreted with urine, right? So if you... Uh, remember, uh, thiamine is one of the coenzymes of um, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, right? And its function is conversion of what? Pyruvic acid or pyruvate into acetyl CoA, acetyl CoA, which will end up at the Krebs cycle, right? So if there is. Uh, thiamine deficiency it means this activity of converting pyruvic acid into acetyl coa is not happening well so it means pyruvate will be high in urine in this case so that's pyruvic acid for you 
sales of person working in uh, in the Chernobyl exclusion zone have undergone a mutation in the DNA. However, with time, the damaged interval of DAA molecule has been restored on its initial structure with specific enzyme. In this case, the following occurred. Right, so the enzyme which works there, because I saw the, uh, a question like this before, right, it's actually called an endonucleus. On that question, endonucleus was the enzyme, right? And restoration is same as the repair, right? So a repair is the answer here. A repair. After an exited treatment, extended treatment with sulfonamides, uh, a patient has developed macrocytic anemia. Production of active forms of the following vitamin is disrupted in such a condition, right? So, like, we want to form what, the active form of... Uh, okay, okay, Let, let's put it this way. If you know your PABA pathway, right, there is uh, something called, um, it's called what? Tetrahydrofolate. Yes, I remember it. Tetrahydrofolate, right. So it's, it comes from folic acid. That's your, okay, so what's the buzzer word here? I want to find a buzzer word. Okay, you can, okay, just remember, macrocytic anemia folic acid vitamin b9 right sulfonamide inhibition of paba pathway folic acid tetrahydrofolate what 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 so folic acid is your answer a three-year-old girl with mental retardation has been diagnosed with sphingomyelin lipidosis thus neiman pick's disease in this condition, synthesis of the following substance is disrupted. Okay, so the answer is in the question again. Right? Sphingomyelin lipidosis, sphingomyelin-ness. That's the, that's the answer, right? A patient presents with uh, dry peeling, dry peeling, uh, frequent cases of acute respiratory disease, xerophthalmia. What vitamin preparation should be prescribed? Right. Dry skin peeling. This one is called what? Xeroscutis. Frequent um, cases of acute respiratory diseases because vitamin A is important. Or it can uh, protect you from some viral diseases. Serophthalmia. Serophthalmia is actually the pathological dryness of the cornea and or conjunctiva, right? So all of these conditions can be prevented if you are taking your vitamin A, right? So vitamin A, that's what you need to look for here. And the closest answer is retinal acetate. Retinal acetate. It's an, that's vitamin A. Activation of a number of hemostatic factors, the clotting factors, occurs through their joining with calcium ions. What structural components allows for joining with calcium ions? Right. So, again, we've seen this question before. Gamma carboxyglutamic acid. Gamma carboxyglutamic acid is your answer. Fructoseria is... Is known to be connected with inherited deficiency of fructose one phosphate aldolase. What uh, what production of fructose metabolism will accumulate? I read it wrong. What product of fructose metabolism will accumulate in the organism, resulting in toxic action? So you need to remember fructose metabolism, right? So here is your fructose. Firstly, is converted to fructose one phosphate by fructokinase that's the first thing from fructose to fructose one phosphate by fructokinase and then this fructokinase can be uh it's a six carbon right right it's a six carbon so it will be cleaved 
into two three carbon molecules thus dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde right this one can actually uh, all right okay i think i explained too much you just need to remember the enzyme which cleaves fructose one phosphate into a dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde the the enzyme is aldolase b which is deficient here right so if it is deficient it means there is no uh, breakdown of fructose one phosphate it means this metabolite will accumulate right so that's why fructose one phosphate is the answer right fructose one phosphate Cholesterol content in serum of a 12-year-old, just remember your bed cholesterol, LDL, low-density lipoproteins. A, okay, coenzyme A participates in numerous important metabolic reactions. It is a derivative of what? Right, coenzyme A is actually from vitamin B5, also known as the pantothenic acid. There are some guys who are making noise. They don't know what we are doing. Right, I said the answer is pantothenic acid. When investigating human saliva, it is necessary to assess its hydrolytic properties. Right? What substance should be used as the substrate in the process? Right? So you just you need to remember, hydrolytic action they are talking about here is uh, by a special enzyme known as what amylase it's called in full it's salivary amylase or tyrolin right so it uh, it hydrolyzes starch right starch if you need to remember the forms like amylose amylopectin etc right but just here the answer is a starch right and the enzyme they are talking about is Amylase. A pregnant woman with several miscarriages in anamnesis is uh, prescribed a therapy that includes vitamin preparation. What vitamin facilitates caring of pregnancy? Yes, for caring of pregnancy, remember vitamin E. Vitamin E. Vitamin E. The other name for vitamin E is called what? Alpha tocopherol, alpha tocopherol, right? Okay, okay. I think I should tell you something. This question is in microbiology, but you need to remember it. Okay. Uh, there is a virus called hepatitis E. Hepatitis E causes fulminant hepatitis in pregnant women, right? Just remember that E. And also, here we're talking about what? Uh vitamin e vitamin e is the one which facilitated caring uh, of a pregnancy right so you can remember uh, when i'm not there very soon i won't be there you will be alone in your exam okay so alpha tocopherol is vitamin e that's the answer blood test in patient revealed albumin content of 20 grams per liter why it should be from 60 to 80 grams per liter something like that right and also increase the activity of lactate lactate dehydrogenase isoenzyme 5 right isoenzyme 5 is also high in the liver right and also this albumin is synthesized in the liver right so this results indicate disorder of the following organ the liver the liver Okay, a child with a uh, point mutation presents with absence of glucose 6-phosphatase. I told you this one. Hypoglycemia and hepatomegaly. All right. What pathology are these signs characteristic of? Right. So I told you about this because like there is deficiency of uh, glucose 6-phosphatase, which is found in the liver. 
proximal convoluted tube of the kidney and in the duodenum. I'm, I mean, I, I know you are tired with this one, but if that enzyme is deficient, it will cause what? Von Gieke's disease, right? So here I just wrote some other glycogen storage diseases, right? Like Coris disease. Coris disease will happen if there is a deficiency on alpha 1,6 glycosidase, right? So this is a component of debranching enzyme, debranching enzyme. I talked about it in the previous video, right? I'll add this one. This one is about aldosterone, Parkinson, Parkinson. This one is about dopamine. Then Mark Adley, right? Mark Adley, this one, Mark Adley is actually, if there is deficient of what? You know, that monster which was throwing phosphates on the glycogen, on the glycogen molecule, right? So it's glycogen phosphorylase, right? Okay, so here the, the answer is von Gieke's disease for glucose 6-phosphatase. A 46-year-old woman suffering uh, with cholelithiasis, right? There's the stones in the what? Uh, in the biliary tra tract developed jaundice. Here urine became dark and uh, while faces are light colored. What substance will be the most increase in concentration? Right. So you, you need to remember, right? Conjugation actually happens like in the liver, right? So after the, your bilirubin has been conjugated, now it's going down through the biliary tract and that's where it encounters uh, resistance, the stone, right? It's already conjugated. That's the answer, conjugated bilirubin. If you put unconjugated, I don't know what you're thinking. Bilivedin, urobilinogen, what, what, those answers are wrong. So the answer here is unconjugated, is conjugated bilirubin. I'm sorry. Nitrogen is being excreted from the board mainly as urea. When activity of a certain enzyme in the liver is low, it results in inhibition of urea synthesis and nitrogen accumulation in the blood and tissue. Right, name this enzyme. Okay, so the enzyme which is found on the on it in cycle is carbamoyl phosphate synthetase. Right. Okay, I told you again in the previous video there are two. In the mitochondria here, it's actually carbamoyl phosphate synthetase type one. This one is type one. Type two is found in nucleo nucleotide synthesis nucleotide synthesis this one is carbamoyl phosphate synthesis one a patient suffering from gout was pre prescribed allopurinol you know this already okay what pharmacological property of allopurinol will uh what guys what pharmacological property of allopurinol provides therapeutic effects in this case, right, and I, I told you, it's competitive inhibition of xanthine oxidase. I told you this one. Okay. Blood of a patient with diabetes mellitus shows increased content of free fatty acids. Name the most likely cause for this, right? Just to remember, the fats, right, or triglycerides, right, they are converted, uh, they... When, if they are broken down by the what by the lipase, right? They release uh, free fat acids and glycerol, right? So if these free fat acids are high, it means they are being broken down by what by triglyceride lipase. That's your answer, okay? So here the answer it actually says increased activity of adipose triglyceride lipase. Right? That's your answer. A 40 year old woman with Cushing's disease presents with steroid diabetes. 
on biochemical examination she was she is hyperglycemia right hyperglycemia increased uh, amount of glucose and hypochloremia right what process activates in the first place in such the patient right so in Cushing's disease or Cushing's disease right there is what high cortisol right high cortisol is actually a what a stress hormone this stress hormone actually um it it increases like the synthesis it increases the amount of uh, glucose in the body by stimulating the process known as what gluconeogenesis the synthesis of glucose from non carbohydrates sources for example amino acids okay so here the answer is gluconeogenesis during regular checkup, a child is determined to have interrupted mineralization of bones. Is calciferol. You know this one already. Cytochrome oxidase is a hemiprotein that is at the end of combo that is an end component of the mitochondrial respiratory chain. What reaction is catalyzed with this enzyme? Right. So firstly you need to know that uh in this cycle in this whole cycle in electron transport chain oxygen is the final electron acceptor that's the first thing you need to know right so like uh the like uh, like the, the components of the uh, electron transport chain like at, at every stage they will be pumping out what uh they will be pumping out uh, the the hydrogens hydrogen ions from the uh from the mitochondrial matrix into the what uh, like into the an area between the what inner membrane and outer membrane right so there will be a bal uh, uh we can s s say some uh, something like um how to say this one is um they call it chemiosmosis something like that right okay so like the, the the hydrogen ions will combine with oxygen to form water right okay that's it right so they are asking you about cytochrome oxidase which is the last one its action is this one like transfer of reduced equivalence to what to molecular oxygen right those oxygen plus into the what uh, I, I mean combining like uh, H plus ions with molecular oxygen to form water and that's how like this whole process of um, ATP synthesis will take place by the fifth one because this one is the fourth uh, is complex four right complex five will be the ATP synthase with those subunits um, okay okay we will talk about them later It is known that Pendo's faucet pathway actively functions in the erythrocytes, right? What is the mechanism? What is the main function of the metabolic pathway in the erythrocytes, right? If you still remember, uh, this Pendo's faucet pathway, it produces a very important um, component called NADPH right nadph that one it works like uh <clears throat> if you know gl glutathione peroxidase it has two forms like active form reduced form active form and reduced reduced form right so okay by knowing only that only that part you will remember this that component will help in uh, decreasing the process of lipid peroxidation, right? Okay, let me check the answers. Counteraction of lipid peroxidation, that's the answer, right? I didn't explain much about the uh, uh, Pendo's faucet pathway. It's a very difficult process. Uh, but for exam, just to remember this one, right? It acts on uh, what glutathione peroxidase, 
right? Uh, on the interchanging forms like the active uh, reduced form and oxidized form. And that process will help in counteraction of peroxidation of the lipids. A person with vitamin A deficiency develop twilight vision, right? So you just know that vitamin A is found in the rods, right? Rhodopsin rods. So rod is the answer. Guys, I'm very sorry. I recorded the video at first. This sound was coming and in this time again it's coming. I cannot cancel. Just be with me. I am really, really sorry. If you can hear any sound of someone sleeping, it's my roommate. I'm now exposing him. I will apologize later. Right. One of the factors that cause obesity is the inhibition of fatty acid synthesis uh, due to what? Okay, so remember, fatty acid oxidation takes place uh, where? In the mitochondria, right? So they will need to be transported from the what? From the cytoplasm into the mitochondria. So they are transported by cat. Cat, cat, cat. Cat means uh, carnitine acid transferase. Carnitine acid transferase, right? So in this case, the carnitine, carnitine is low, right? Low carnitine content is your answer. A 67-year-old man consumes eggs, pork, pork fat, butter, milk, and meat. Blood test results are as follows. Cholesterol, 12.3 millimoles per liter. Total lipids, 8.2 grams per liter. Uh, and also, this patient has increased low-density lipoprotein fraction. That's LDL, bad cholesterol. What type of hyperlipoproteinemia is observed in the patient? Right, so this is what I want you to remember. If we talk about familial hyperlipoproteinemia if you see this question just remember this only type 2 only type 2 is ldl low density lipoprotein right and then there comes another problem type 2 there is 2a and 2b right 2a it is only ldl 2b is ldl and the ldl very low density lipoproteins, right? So you can remember it that way. Okay, let me just show you for the sake of completion, right? So you can see this image is from first aid. Type 1. On type 1, uh, there is increased chylomicrons, triglycerides, and cholesterol. That's type 1. There is no LDL, which is mentioned in the question, as you can see. Type 2. Is LDL uh, for like A, the first one is LDL and cholesterol. Then B, 2B is LDL, cholesterol, and VLDL, right? Type 3 is chylomicrons and VLDL. And type 4 is VLDL and triglycerides, right? So you can remember it this way. Just remember only type 2, right? Type 2 is A and B. A is the first one with only, only LDL. And then B with LDL and VLDL. Simple, I think. An infant who was on synthetic formula feeding developed signs of vitamin B1 deficiency. That's thiamine, right? Thiamine. So thiamine, it works in uh, oxidative decarboxylation of what? Ketone bodies or keto acids, right? Keto acids is the uh, actual correct way, right? So what reaction does this vitamin take part in? Keto acid oxidative decarboxylation, right? During examination of a teenager with uh, xanthal Xanthomatosis, the, the family history of hypercholesterolemia, hypercholesterolemia, bad cholesterol. What transportable lipids are increased in concentration in case of such a disease? Bad cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein. 
LDL. A 52-year-old man presents with fever and pain in the joints. Both of his first metatarsophalangeal articulations, gout, okay, are deformed, swollen, uh, reddened. Blood urea is high. The patient is diagnosed with gout, okay. What is the main developmental factor in the pathogenesis of this disease? Increased Increased amount of uric acid is known as hyperuricemia. Okay, or here the answer is a hyperuricemia. Uricemia, hyperuricemia. Okay. In the process of hemoglobin catabolism, iron is released and then as a part of special transport enzyme, it is returned to, returned to the bone marrow. Uh, to be used again for hemoglobin synthesis. Name this transport protein. All right. Just to remember, iron is also known as what? Ferritin, right? So ferritin is transported by transferrin, right? Transcobalamin, this one, it transports vitamin B12. Aptoglobin, aptoglobin is for hemoglobin. Ceruloplasmin is for copper for copper, ceruloplasmin for copper, and albinism. Eee, this is not albinism. Okay. This is albumin. <laughs> okay, so for albumin, um, it, this one, it carried different hormones, also even some fats, right? Right, so it carries a lot of things, albumin, but specific for ion is transferring, right? Collagenosis, collagenosis, this is a disorder of collagen uh, synthesis, right? Collagenosis patients typically presents with connective tissue destruction process. The presence of these processes can be confirmed by the increase, uh, by the increase in what? Okay, 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 what will increase in these cases, right? So if you remember the... Uh, pathway for collagen synthesis, right? Oxyproline, hydroxyproline, right? Addition of OH on the uh, proline residues, and then from there, there is uh, addition of sugar. That one is known as glycosylation, right? And then from there, then the, the pro collagen will be released. Right, and those release those released um, chains will have like uh, some threads which hang outside, and I call them loose ends. So for, there will be tying of loose ends. That was cutting of C and N terminus, right? And then from there, the this the formation of uh like this chain will need to be uh cross-linked cross-linked right so oxy oxylicin okay okay hydroxylation of pro proline and lysine that's the first part which i just explained only my case i was only here right and then from there there will be uh lysyl oxidase lysyl oxidase is the one which that which uh cross links the what the the collagen the collagen chains to make it a, a strong rope, right? So what will increase in blood? Oxyproline and lysine, right? That's the answer here. I like explaining things at the end of the day. I can go off topic. I'm sorry about that. A 42-year-old man with gout again, not again, Presents with high concentration of uric acid in blood. The patient was prescribed allopurinol to lower the concentration of uric acid. Allopurinol is a competitive inhibitor of which of the following enzymes? Xanthine oxidase is the answer. Nitrogen is being excreted from the body mainly as urea. When activity of a certain enzyme in the liver is low. It results in inhibition of urea synthesis in nitrogen accumulation in blood and tissues. Name 
the enzyme carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1. People who for a long time remained in hypodynamic state developed intense pain in the muscles after physical exertion. What is the most likely cause of what? Of pain, right? So after intense physical activity, right? And then resting, right? Okay, so what happens like, okay, or during a uh, during, uh, rapid exercise, there will be anaerobic glycolysis, anaerobic glycolysis, which, which means there is no oxygen. So there is no uh, conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. There is only conversion of pyruvate to lactic acid. So accumulation of lactic acid in the muscles is the answer. Blood of a patient with diabetes mellitus shows an increased content of free fatty acids. I told you about this one, triglyceride lipase inside the adipose is the answer. A patient with bile duct obstruction typically present with uh, inhibited blood clotting and developed hemorrhage due to insufficient of assimilation of what? All right, so here is disorder of what the biliary tract. So it means like there will be what uh, fat malabsorption. And remember, fat soluble vitamin, vitamin A, D, K, and E. And only K is responsible or take part in what activation of some clotting factors, which we call vitamin K dependent clotting factors. During intense muscle work, there is a large amount of ammonia produced in muscles. What amino acid plays in um, plays the main role in transportation of ammonia in, to the liver and participates in gluconeogenesis? Oh, okay. So for the first part for transport of ammonia, you just need to remember the core cycle, right? And then it also it can also be converted to what uh, directly to pyruvate alanine. Okay, so let me show you the core cycle, right? So here you see, you see your amino. Wait, 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 wait. Amino acid here, right? So amino acid. This one is specifically what uh, alanine, right? Carrying ammonia, right? So it reacts with alpha ketoglutarate, then. To form what? Okay, let me just run with ammonia, right? To form uh, glutamate, right? Glutamate with ammonia. And then this glutamate will react with what? Pyruvate to form this alanine, right? That's where you have your alanine. And this alanine can actually cross to the liver because this is the muscle and this is the liver. And then here it will react again with alpha ketoglutarate. Uh, Forming what? Pyruvate. I, my case I cannot go down further, but as you can see, this pyruvate uh, is, the, is the end. So it's like almost the same pathway as this side, right? Because uh, this alanine is reacting with alpha ketoglutarate, forming what? Glutamate here. And then excretion. This one, at the end, you see this urea, right? So... If you look closely, you will see that here you have your glutamate. Here in the muscle, that's how it starts. But it cannot cross like that way. That's why it needs to give the ammonium to what? To alanine. Then alanine, then alanine will give it back when they cross the border. <laughs> okay, it's actually a little bit of complex process but you you can pause and then try to master it right but alanine is the answer here a 40 year old woman suffers from cushing's disease steroid i told you stress hormone gluconeogenesis that's how it happens increasing the amount i i solved this question i don't know how many times
uh, neutralization of xenobiotic and active endogenous metabolites um, often occurs via introduction of an oxygen atom into the substrate molecule. What process is that? So if you still remember, there are four phases, four phases of xenobiotic metabolism. The first one is hydroxylation followed by conjugation and then the last one is excretion or secretion depending on what we want to use the product Ex excretion is like we don't need this thing anymore and then secretion is like we are releasing it but we will need to use it later right okay uh, i think i came up with something okay so this one is what the first stage hydroxylation conjugation excretion ah <laughs> okay don't laugh guys i am not good at jokes but this h you can read it as this whole thing is s s h s i don't know how you can remember this is no biotic metabolism okay a hereditary disease uh, homocysteine urea is caused by this disturbed transformation of homocysteine into methionine, right? Accumulated homocysteine will form its dimer, that's homocysteine, uh, that can be found in the urine, right? What vitamin preparation can decrease homocysteine production, right? So the pathway goes this way, right? You have your homocysteine, right? Homocysteine is converted to methionine, right? And it needs what? The enzyme is methionine synthase, and the core enzyme needed here is uh, methylcyanocobalamin. That's methyl with vitamin B12. We can say it's a methylated vitamin B12, right? So, what's the question? What vitamin preparation can decreased homocysteine right so we want this pathway right so we can go this way vitamin b12 that's the answer we can also go this way to sister thion and then sustain but here you need you need vitamin b6 right so on your answers you will check vitamin b12 and b6 and if you as you can see there's no vitamin b6 there's only vitamin b12 for this pathway and they specifically told you to methionine. That's why you need vitamin B12. If they had said here on this place, sister thione, you the answer will be what? Vitamin B6. A sick child presents with high content of phenylpyruvate in urine. Norm, uh, normally it's, uh, it's actually absent, right? Blood phenylalanine level is 350 milligrams per liter. Normally, it's 15 milligrams per liter. All right? Uh, what disease? What disease are the symptoms, characteristics of phenylalanine? Right? And we are talking about phenylketones in urine. So, phenylketonuria, PKU, PKU. Okay. So this one is actually the, the ketone, the phenylpyruvate in urine, right? It's normally absent, right? But if the patient is PKU, then you find it. And uh, I said what enzyme is usually absent here is phenylalanine hydroxylase, which converts phenylalanine to tyrosine, right? So here the answer is... PKU. Okay. A newborn presents with weak suckling, frequent formatting, hypotonia, uh, blood and urine citrulline are very high, right? Citrulline is actually a component of um, anything like uh, I already showed you here. What metabolic process is disturbed here, right? So it's anything cycle. Okay, let me just show you. No, I'm showing you this cycle only for you to identify the mnemonic. Right? Um, 
Also, it goes like this from anything. Ordinarily, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, but I, I'm 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 sure it says ordinarily. Care, um, crepers are uh, frivolous for fumarate about urinating. No, I don't like this. Uh, this new morning, someone told me it's it's not it's not nice. That's why I I used it in the previous video, but okay. Next question. Okay, so this question was just um, asking you to remember uh, that citrulline is actually a component of the cycle called the onithin cycle, right? For for urea synthesis, or we can say detoxification of ammonia, right? Congenital pyruvate carboxylase deficiency causes physical and mental retardation in children and leads to early death. It is characterized by lactic acidemia, lactic aciduria, and a number of uh, metabolic disorder. Right, so pyruvate decarboxylase, uh, this one, is path the pathway which it mediates is conversion of what? Of a uh, pyruvate into oxaloacetate, right? So this process is actually a during our uh, gluconeogenesis, right? So if you still remember the, if you have the cycle in your head, just to remember from pyruvate, it will be converted to a oxaloacetate, and then oxaloacetate cannot leave the mitochondria, so it needs to be converted to what to malet, right? So there will be what malet. And then mallet will leave, and then it will be conver will leave the mitochondria, and then outside the mitochondria, it will then be converted back to oxaloacetate, and then from oxaloacetate, it will uh, be converted to pep, pep, right, right by pep carboxylase. Pep carboxylase is actually the enzyme, right? So it's actually the answer is gluconeogenesis that's what you need to check here because it's the only one the reason why they mentioned um citric acid cycle is because you know like even the the intermediates which i said which i just mentioned they are part the intermediates of the citric acid cycle that's how this uh gluconeogenesis takes place right and other pathway include from lactic acid or ammon amino acids a lot of amino acids right that's so the answer is citric acid and gluconeogenesis i explained this question with a very clear diagram in the previous video a patient is diagnosed with uh, glucocerebrosidase that's Gaucher's disease right so another buzzer way they can say um lipid laden macrophage or we can they are like they can say what uh like a crumbled paper right those are the two buzzer ways which they usually say crumbled paper or or fat lead and macrophages right okay let me continue already uh that manifest as splenomegaly or uh, liver enlargement affected bone tissue and neuropathies what enzyme of complex lipid catabolism is deficient that's causing uh, this disease right so again you know you, you just you just need to be careful because usually the answer is in the question glucocerebroside lipidosis glucocerebrosidase is the answer the answer is in the question glucocerebrosidase a 25-year-old young man came to the doctor complaining of general weakness of uh, rapid fatigability, uh, irritability, reduced waking ability, and bleeding gums. Right? Um, what vitamin is likely deficient in this patient? Right? So, these symptoms uh, are telling you that the patient doesn't have vitamin C. 
vitamin C is also known as ascorbic acid. Okay, vascular endothelium is characterized by high metabolic activity and synthesize a vasoactive substance. A vaso is actually okay. This vasoactive uh, substance is called NO. All right, let's go. Uh, among these substances, there is a potent vasodilator synthesized from LRG9. Name the vasodilator right so this l arginine like this one is just um l isomer right of arginine arginine is actually an amino acid right so the arginine will be acted upon by uh nitric or we can okay it's, it's the answer should be nitric acid nitric acid no right let so arginine will be cleaved to form two things NO that's nitric acid and citrulline right the enzyme here is actually called what uh, I didn't I didn't write it but it's called nitric oxide synthase right but some books they say nitrous oxide but I don't know about your chemistry because if you know NO NO is nitric acid N2O is nitrous acid and NO2 is nitrogen dioxide. Okay, so the answer was supposed to be nitric oxide here. N nitric acid, I mean, nitric acid, but they just say nitrogen oxide. It's the same thing, that's what they want to say, maybe. <laughs> okay, so I said what uh, here is the enzyme. Uh, nitric oxide synthase is the enzyme which cleaves l arginine to form nitric oxide and citrulline and then citrulline is the uh, vaso is called what a vasoactive substance right okay so this is the closest answer it's, it's closest to the truth oh we are done thank you so much thank you for watching please make sure you subscribe uh, just to share with at least five people guys i am just begging you at least just to share with at least five people and among those five people maybe three will subscribe to this channel right let's let's reach um okay once once today's dead today is 11 april okay let's reach 1000 subscribers by let's say 20 april right thank you so much uh see you next time okay so this is what happens right um right now at this moment i am in fourth year right i did my crop in february now we are in april right so i also have a lot of things to do so i will be studying for my own i mean for my fourth year and also, I have a specific exam which I want to write later. I'm also studying for that. And uh, croak, croak questions. This is basically like Ukraine, in Ukraine, right? So for my Ukrainian subscribers here, I mean, people who are studying in Ukraine, I'm making uh, the croak, croak uh, videos for them. But there are also other people like from India, United States, uh, Tanzania, Zambia, Nigeria. I know you guys. Thank you for supporting. I will be making uh, biochemistry videos. This time I'm, I just started uh, nutrition and metabolism. So you will see the playlist. I am starting with the vitamins. So thank you so much. See you next time.